Hello chaps and welcome to my build update number three, the weathering and final assembly stage. At the end of build update number two, the aircraft had been painted and decked out, so now it was on to weathering. So I got my oils together, some odorless mineral spirit, mixed some colours, and I started off with like a greyish beige stone wash to use as a filter to tone colours down, blend everything together. I always like to do one of those washes. Did it on the model aircraft and then did it on the peripheral parts. And then I did a dark dirt pin wash to all the panel lines. That's the underside. And that's the top side. And after that was done, I then applied some streaks and dirt to the uh, rest of the parts, the drop tanks, the missiles, bombs etc and then sealed everything with a clear flat coat I then removed the wheel bay doors, I gave them a gloss clear coat let that dry, and as it was drying I applied a semi gloss clear coat to the exhaust I then um, unmasked the uh, caliper and took a few photographs of the cockpit before I sealed that in with the canopy. The last look of this cockpit and all the scratch built detailing I did in there before it's too late to take photographs again. So these are just gonna scroll through now different angles trying to capture everything in there that I did. It's difficult at this scale That top view gives a reasonable look in there. You can see the day cows and the colour I added to side consoles, and the seat belts, and the ejects pull cords. So the canopy needed an actuator. I'm sorry for this blurred image, but that's the scratch build actuator. There it is in place behind the pilot's headrest. Canopy will be in the closed position. So when I glued the canopy down into position I put some filler around it well I didn't fill it I used uh, clear glue canopy glue let it set then filed that all down with uh, 1000, 2000, 6000 and 12000 grit to get any small scratches out of the canopy I then gave it a black clear coat black base coat around the edges of the canopy followed by the main colours to blend it all in after that was done, it was on to the uh, wheel bell bays, weathering them and the doors, letting that dry for 40 minutes, and then wiping off the excess. I then uh, gave that a flat clear coat to seal that all in before starting with the final assembler. I saw the parts ready for the final assembler, and I started off with the undercarriage, fitting that and putting the uh, wheel bay doors in place. Next I put the three long range fuel tanks in place. Got the two outer ones and the uh, center line fuselage one. I then glued the four missiles in place and then remembered I have to paint the uh, framework on the canopy. So I masked that, painted that. I then with some colored crayon pencils added some streaking here and there some white streaking I then added some colouring to the bombs and the pylons for the bombs using yellow dark brown and a reddish brown and I then glued those pylons and bombs in place as you can see there so that's all the underwing stores in place along with the undercarriage and wheel bay doors and then it's on to uh, the smaller parts starting with the port side light there added that painted it red on the side of the air intake and then went to the starboard side and fitted the starboard side light and painted it green and then I added the spike on the end of the nose and the last thing to do was put the little 
torpedo tube in place to complete the final assembly. So that's it guys, last of my build updates, next will be the final reveal and that will be coming to your screens in a few days time. So thanks for watching guys, until then, Talio chocks away.